Okay, this is a. Uh, already I told you, I explained the common element of uh, Eastern Asian culture. But Korea is uh, very unique. Why today you can, you, uh, have you imagined that why today Korean park, Korean park is uh, very popular all over the world. Not Chinese, not Japanese, not American. The reason is that I think it's a kind of fusion now Korean uh, youngsters, uh, Korean young generation, Korean people have a, a kind of a fusion skills, fusion mind. So we have all, all the East Asian culture, dynasty culture, chopsticks, you know, everything. But we, we know East, uh, the Western style, now in Korea, one third, or more than one third is uh, Christianity. And also now democratic country, democratic, democratic value, you know. Previously, uh, everybody uh, write uh, the Chinese letters, but today everybody write uh, uh, the uh, speak uh, in English. You no, know? so we have a, a kind of fusion culture: East Asia and Western Europe. You no, know? uh, that's a, a kind of uh, the background, uh, bo uh, the origin or born of uh, uh, K-pop. Uh, here, the Korean in Korean culture, in pop culture. Korean wave, Gangnam style, plum, drama, cuisine, K-pop, etc. And also, uh, more or less 30 minutes ago, I played uh, Arirang, no? Yeah. Arirang is uh, among the, so many songs. Arirang is uh, the, the first song for Korean people. All Koreans love this song by South Koreans or North Koreans. Uh, Koreans in, in, in Korean Peninsula or the abroad, every Korean love it, these songs. And also, uh, when we select just one novel, so just everybody, I think, uh, Chun Hyang we, we select, we select it, I think, uh, Chun Hyang It's a Romeo and Juliet, a Korean style of a Romeo and Juliet. No? And also, uh, when many foreigners uh, living in Korea, they love a kind of a Korean opera. Korean opera is a samlori, uh, fansori. Fansori is a kind of a Korean opera, very different style. Samlori is a uh, basic uh, music and music equipment and the playing style. Many musicians, Korean musicians. Today, Korea is a, a country of a culture. Korea is a country of history, long, long history, long, long history. M many in Latin America, uh, National Day means uh, Independence Day. National Day in means uh, Independence Day. The reason is that the Costa Rica or Mexico or all Latin American countries, uh, the history is very short. So just uh, 200 years. But Korea, a history of more than 4,000 years. So many invasions, uh, battles, uh, you know, war. So sometimes uh, conquested colonies. And then we conquested again or again independence several times. So independence is very important. But the, it's a kind of a, a Korean history is a perpetual, continuous, you no. Know? Uh, ups and downs. So the Korea is a, a, a country of a history, and also we have a, a, where uh, Korea is a country of a culture. So many in Korea, there are many Korean uh, cultural heritage registered in UNESCO. This is the numbers of uh, the registered uh, Korean culture in uh, UNESCO. 13 world cultural heritage, one natural heritage, 20 intangible cultural heritage, 15 memory of the world register. So many, comparing other countries, a small country, but so many pride to <laughs> the, the heritage register, register in UNESCO. Many uh, UAE students would like to visit to Korea, and then I will give a very brief uh, introduction to Korean uh, tourism. In Korea, there are 
a natural, uh, natural environment uh, very different uh, comparing in UAE, Korea, very different. Seventy percent is a mountain, but not so high mountains, more or less 500 meters or 1,000. 1,000 meters is quite high. Uh, mountains, rivers, sea, beach, blue skies, but no camel, no element, no desert, no tropical, no glaciers. No? We have four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, winter, each three months. Many Buddhist temples, many old Confucian academy, and also many churches. One from sky of Seoul, you can see so many, so many churches. Anyway, it's a very interesting city. Or it's a very interesting country. So how how they maintain harmony between different religions? It's a very interesting. No conflict. Catholic, Protestant, Christianity, and uh, Buddhist and uh, Confucians. Okay, no problem. We all have money. And also, the foreigners can uh, tour, industry tour. And also, Korea, uh, especially Seoul, Busan, Daegu, has a great metro subway system, very excellent. And high speed uh, bullet uh, train uh, per hour, more than 300 kilometers. And so, then now we compare. If, uh, we have to select. Uh, we, we are going to travel by airline, by train. Many times by train is much convenient, much short time. Uh, when we go, go to airport, it takes time, process, and also land it and then into the city. No? It takes time. So many citizens uh, prefer the high speed trains. Many church, many cafe, restaurant, and also a late night, late night, 24 hours market. Uh, Lee Jong-ho, uh, chief of uh, WHO, World Health Organization. Song Sang-hyun is International Criminal Court. And also Kim chol su chief of WTO. Jim Yong-kim, he is American, but Korean-American. IBRD, now retired. You know? Gangnam style, parasite, and the Dejangum, BTS. BTS no? uh, here is a, now I will introduce a Korean industry. Many, many, many industries. We have uh, all kinds of uh, uh, industries. So we can make anything. We can make anything. A uh, few days ago, uh, UAE uh, succeeded uh, the send uh, Amal. UAE uh, hope into uh, Mars orbit, no? Uh, 10 or 15 years ago, Korea, Korean company uh, give a uh, cooperation, a satellite technology, just a small private companies. So the uh, UAE is a success into the, the Mars orbit, no? uh, there is a, a, a small part of Korean technology. And also the, today, Korea's trade volume is uh, the number six, world rank number six or seven. And also 1,000 billion US dollars. It means uh, this, uh, this amount of money, trade volume, all over the world, less than uh, 10 countries, or just the seven or eight. Or Korea is one of uh, the country, and also the uh, uh, investment of uh, the yearly base for more or less fifty billion US dollars, and uh, Korea is uh, the most percentage of uh, GDP invested in R and D. So uh, Bloomberg, US company, select every year select. Which country is the most innovative country? Innovative uh, country uh, number 
uh, world number one, two, three, four, uh, one hundred. No? Uh, since 2013, uh, this, until this year, including this year, nine times selected. Uh, among them, Korea seven times uh, we are selected the number one country. Oh, sorry, except 2013, 2020, uh, 2013 USA, 2020 is uh, Germany. Oh, uh, except uh, twice uh, and then seven times uh, Korea, Korea, Korea. <laughs> and also the Korean tour tourists, uh, 2018 Korean people uh, massive uh, exports <laughs> to foreign countries. Uh, many Korean travelers uh, all over the world. So the 2018, 28 million. Uh, 2019, more than 30 million. So, among uh, 50 million, 50 million, 30 million went. Yeah. Uh, Korean GDP more or less uh, ranked uh, number 10 all over the world. Uh, trade volume, number 6 or 7. Uh, Korean trade, total trade volume, is uh, more or less 25% uh, of the uh, total Chinese trade volume. So many think uh, Chinese trade volume 20 times uh, bigger than Korea, no? Just uh, four times. Even, and also in China, in Chinese territory, there are many, many Korean companies. They produce uh, Korean technology, Korean capital, but the labor, workers are uh, Chinese. They produce uh, their product made in China, but really it's a Korean product. But it's a kind of a the Chinese trade volume, not Koreans. But anyway, Korea is an uh, export import country. So, uh, here is uh, the Korea's top 10 uh, export, uh, <coughs> top 10 uh, uh, product. Yeah, here is a um, export number six. You know? UAE is a number sixteen. UAE is quite well considering size of a country. This is GDP. Korea twelve, sir. So Rank the twelve, sir. So. UAE is twenty nine, sir. So. Uh, innovative uh, in terms of uh, innovation, Korea is uh, number one. Already I explained, uh, among nine years, uh, seven years were number, world number one. Now, uh, many think Korea is a, a country of innovation. Yes, a country of innovation. What kind of product? Uh, most uh, innovative uh, product. Many think uh, Samsung Galaxy or LG or SK or Hyundai motor, et cetera, et cetera. What product? Samsung and Hyundai software, I don't know the Korean product. They, uh, the Samsung, uh, Korean company's product is quite uh, high tech and uh, a little bit innovative, but I think not so much innovative. I can tell you just the poor, poor product, the most innovative one. All over, all over the world, from Korean history. Ondol, you know, <laughs> this is uh, the most uh, innovative uh, technology of Korea. This is a heating system. In Europe, not uh, in UAE, not cold in the winter season, very fresh. But Europe, uh, Siberia, Russia, Korean Peninsula in winter season, America, too cold. Freezing, no? And then everybody needs a heating system. The Europeans, Americans, fire, fire wall, fire place, no? Fire. And then heating come, come to me. And then smoke and the heating very quickly go, go up into sky. God, no need uh, heating. But Sorry, the, uh, the fire heat, heating very quickly into the skies. 
for Korean uh, heating system, here fire. Here is a cooking cooking equipment. You know, here we can provide uh, we can prepare here the rice, you know? rice, or, or whatever food we can prepare here. Here fire, and then here under the floor, under the floor tunnels like snake. Here fire heat the heat through travel like that, and it takes time. So so long hour, uh, hours. Koreans has each technology. It's how we can keep the heat, the heat, the energy inside the under the, the floor. So the Europeans, Americans heat and they go away into the sky, but we keep inside here. Wow. No, all light over in uh, winter season. No? And then finally, smoke will go away. Smoke. This is a, since 3,000 years ago. This kind of a heating system, only Korean Peninsula, some part of Manchuria, no more. So many think this is a very brilliant invention. Never saw so the Europeans call the cold. No? Enemy. It's a, how to avoid this kind of a coldness. Siberia, Russia, no? But Korean people very intelligent. Fire, small wood, no? And then they feel very cozy, all light. Porcelain. <coughs> Many remember Chinese porcelain. Yes, Chinese porcelain is very, very beautiful and very excellent. But Koreans too, we compete uh, with China. Uh, sometimes, many times, the Chinese uh, the expert uh, evaluate the Korean one is much better. But the problem was that at the time, 10th century, 15th century, Korea do not have a, didn't have partners to sell, sell it. Just as technology. But we don't have a, we didn't have a market. Nobody knows. Many Europeans come to China. They just buy the Chinese porcelain. They do not know the existence of the Korean porcelain. So this is a, uh, we call it blue porcelain. This is a, since the uh, 10th century until 13th, 14th century. We. E, e, looking for this uh, uh, a kind of a pigment, you know, pigment, a kind of a clay, but a special clay. Uh, we, we call it it's a, 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 a granacy, pigment, a blue blue pigment. It's from Persia, Persia, and China. Sometimes we uh, imported in Korea. Very not uh, reserved so much. So most uh, Koreans imported from China and then use it. This uh, uh, clay and uh, this uh, blue pigment mixed uh, and then produced uh, this kind of uh, porcelain. But here, technology is that how to increase uh, high temperature. In order to produce a high quality of porcelain, you need the uh, uh, 1,250 Celsius degrees. Imagine, you can imagine. In the 10th century, 1,250 1, uh, Celsius degree or 1,400, 1,500 degrees. Sometimes uh, 2,000 degrees. It's a high technology. Just the uh, Chinese or Koreans uh, uh, had, had uh, this technology. And then in Europe, America, they produce uh, porcelain, very fragile, not so the strong, and not so beautiful. The reason is that they don't have a uh, technology to increase uh, high temperature. And also, the engraver the beautiful painting or the, you know, the decoration, etc. it's a uh, uh, high technology. So at the time, all over the world, 
China and the Korea is the, the top priority technologies that we have. And also Koreans, uh, we, can, uh, we can control the color of the porcelain uh, when we uh, want a more dark blue or light blue. We can, uh, we can produce, uh, depend uh, on our preference. Uh, we, we need a little bit, a little bit uh, less light blue color. Okay, we can produce it. How? Koreans, uh, Chinese uh, cannot do. Koreans uh, control the oxygen, the amount of oxygen. It's sorry, more oxygen, less, less oxygen. And then give more oxygen, less oxygen. And then less, less oxygen, more dark, the color dark. More oxygen, more light. So is this how you can recognize which one is a good one? How do you recognize a person? It's a, it's a kind of a, the, the, the specialty and also the, the, for example, this kind of a color Chinese cannot do. Mm -hmm. they, they never try to control of oxygen. So, no? <laughs> they, they, Koreans at the time do not have an oxygen valve, yeah. but they can, uh, they know how to, even though traditional uh, way, they control the uh, more oxygen, less oxygen, no? And then they can control the, the, the in order to uh, vary the level of uh, blues. And also, how uh, produce uh, dark, dark blue or light blue, and also how to increase uh, the more than uh, uh, 1,200 or uh, 1,500 or 2,000 Celsius degree, it's a high technology and also we need a kind of a, a, a blue pigment. How do Koreans use this parcel? Like they need to trade with it or like... Uh... But the problem is that today, even a porcelain expert cannot reach the level of a 10th century. They confess, oh, I'm sorry, we cannot make it the, this kind of a porcelain. Almost, almost, almost we can do, but we cannot reach this kind of a porcelain. Almost the, we are forgotten. We inherited, but the skills not so much perfect. Uh, when you uh, travel to Korea, you can visit to the, the, the city. Uh, some cities are very famous, each and especially near Seoul. <laughs> So this is a very innovative. Uh, another one is a uh, printing system. Uh, I explained uh, in the Battle of uh, Talas, in the Battle of uh, Talas, in the year of uh, 751, at the time, the commander in chief of uh, Tang Dynasty, a Korean ethnic. At the time, uh, the Chinese uh, the paper making technology was uh, tra uh, transmitted to Middle East. And then 50 years later in Baghdad, paper making company, and then later moved to uh, Europe. Uh, the paper making technology is uh, very important in order to develop a uh, printing system. Without good quality of uh, paper, even we cannot imagine good uh, quality of a printing system. So, in order to develop a printing system, first we have to develop paper making technology. So, Korea, China, we have a, both countries, we have a very uh, skillful, very high quality of the uh, paper making technology. Uh, on the basis, Koreans uh, uh, develop a printing system. Uh, today, Korea will have uh, the oldest uh, uh, manuscript printed by wooden block, wooden block printing. Uh, printing. We don't have uh, the wooden block, but uh, we, we have uh, the, in the paper, 
the trenched by wooden block. We have uh, it was uh, the this uh, the, the script, uh, this uh, paper document uh, was founded uh, more or less 20, 30 years ago in Korean one uh, pagoda, inside the pagoda, we can uh, find it. It was uh, the Korean history, historians uh, traced it. This is uh, surely before 751. 751 is a battle of Talas uh, in Abbasid, Kalipa, and the Tang Dynasty. So the Korean uh, historians uh, traced it. this document uh, uh, printed uh, between, we, we don't know exactly, but between 704 uh, and 751. So in Europe and the Middle East, uh, cannot produce paper. In Korea, we have a wooden uh, the printing system, wooden block printing system, and printed, we have a document for everybody. It, uh, and also, uh, on the, basis, on the basis of a wooden block uh, printing system, we developed a uh, metal, metal printing system. Wooden block system many times apply ink and then uh, apply paper. And then this uh, the wooden block is uh, the deteriorated, not so many times, times usually. So our ancestors, uh, Think thought. Oh, we have to. It's better to uh, the metals. Metal is permanent. No. So, in the according to document, uh, one thousand two hundred thirty-four were, were printed uh, by a metal printing system. One two three four. But we we don't we we don't today we don't have this uh, the printed document. We have to. Trace it. We, we have to find it, but still we, we didn't find it. But anyway, we have a real evidence of a printed by a metal one, Chichi. This was printed 1777. This is the first document printed by metal bullets. It was more than 78 years earlier than European metal printing system, and, uh, 78 years and more early. And also, Holy Quran was printed uh, for the first time, not in, in the Middle East, in Italy, by Paganino and uh, Alexander of Paganini in the year of 1537. This is the first, first Quran. First Quran was uh, the printed in Italy. Oh, I will tell you. King Sejong and his officials, uh, by group study, they invented the Korean alphabet. It was uh, uh, 1443. But uh, King Sejong was not the only trier to create, uh, to invent the uh, alphabet. Previously, in the Mongolian Empire, uh, uh, 1250-60, at the time, Mongolia conquested all of the world. And uh, universal emperor of uh, uh, Mongolia, Kublai Khan, they ordered the uh, inventor alphabet of uh, Mongolia in order to give a uh, direction, order, no? Uh, control all empire. They, uh, the Mongolian Empire needed one alphabet, very efficient, efficient one. And then many genius uh, linguistic scholars uh, tried to invent the, this alphabet. One Tibetan monk, uh, Paspa, invented the Paspa alphabet, 44. 44. So, uh, they invented the portable alphabet. They give uh, bring uh, he bring to Mongolian Empire powers, and then Kublai Khan very satisfied, very happy. Oh, it's very good. We have to uh, teach all citizens of the all of the world, and then under the the universal emperor, no, they can uh, govern all the the Mongolian Empire. For so many years uh, teaching in the 
in order to teach the Pasqua alphabet, uh, we Kulai Khan established a university in uh, Beijing and also many the linguistic academy. Tried so many years, 20 years, no, in vain. It's just too difficult. <laughs> Nobody interested. So at the time, you know, Marco Polo, Italian traveler, at the time visit China, Beijing. He found, oh, he found a very interesting alphabet, no? So the, the palace of uh, Kublai Khan would like to spread this uh, alphabet so many years, but in vain. Hey, he wrote uh, this story in the, his uh, travel, travel book. Marco Polo. So uh, from uh, this uh, era, more or less uh, 180 years later, King Sejong and his scholar invented that. And universally used by all Koreans. And also, I already told you, uh, Korean uh, Joseon Dynasty never teach, never teach Korean alphabet in the Korean schools. Why? Too easy to, to understand. So the children of ladies learn uh, you know, to give a message by letter. It's a kind of a the hobby. <laughs> uh, today, many Korean companies uh, participated in the construction or building of project, etc. in UAE. For example, there are quite many. Uh, most of the famous one, for example, in the, in the uh, construction of a Burj Khalifa, main responsible contract company is a, uh, Samsung Construction and Trading, Korean company. And uh, more, less 20, more than 20 years, uh, UAE uh, initiated many desalination projects, uh, changing the seawater into drinking water, no? Uh, it's uh, uh, by Korean company Busan, Busan Heavy Industry, more than 20 years. And today, now almost finished, uh, UAE nuclear power, power plant, Baraka, Baraka nuclear power plant. Many, many Korean companies, among them uh, Korea Electricity, the main uh, contract. And also today, high quality of the medical team now serving in the Kalip Hospital in Ras al -Khaima. So here, UAE, many hierarchies or Emirates would like to <laughs> consult their health in the hospital. And also, in Hujaira, UAE government now constructing a very huge, large size of oil storage under the, under the surface. Very, it's, a, it's a project of five years, very huge. And also, you know, Dubai I, I in Dubai, no? It's a Hyundai engineering. It's a the main uh, technology, the Korean Hyundai. It's a more or less a most famous project participated by Korean companies. There are so many others, mm -hmm. but uh, it takes uh, more and more time. So if uh, I have uh, another opportunity, I can explain more and more, and then I can talk uh, by the uh, debate or question and answer. Okay, I can conclude my uh, conversation. Thank you. Uh -huh.